Hey guys, Samuel the Aviator here. Uh, today, I'm actually not quite sure what we're going to be doing. Uh, currently, I'm just driving out to the airport because uh, it's just down the road. My original plan was to do a little bit of flying today since the weather was pretty nice earlier. There was an overcast layer, but it was like at 8,000 feet, a real thin layer, so I thought it would be a, a really good day to go flying. But as the afternoons progressed, it's uh, gotten a little bit worse. It now looks like we've got some cumulonimbus clouds building up. Looks like we've got some thunderstorms maybe possibly trying to form and the clouds definitely came down a little bit. Although right now I'd say it's scattered to broken depending on where you look. So I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing. If I'm going to be doing some flying uh, or I might have something else in mind if the weather's not good. But for now I'm going to drive down to the airport it's just a few minutes away like I mentioned and we're gonna be doing a pre-flight on the plane real quick and when I get there I'll be doing a weather briefing checking the weather since I also have something else in mind at the airport if it doesn't work out to go flying Alright, so we made it here to Holmes County Airport. As you can uh, maybe hear, there's a little bit of wind, but it's not too bad. So we're just going to hop in real quick, look the plane over, you know the drill. And we're going to check that weather, see what the rest of the afternoon's going to be like. Runway's clear. Cleared right, cleared left. All right, we're going to sit here a second, do our before takeoff, before takeoff checklist. Flap zero, fuel pumps on, mixture's rich, carb heat's off. Uh, we don't pedo heat, transponders altitude 1200, heading bug, we don't have a heading indicator set. Doors and windows, doors closed, latched, windows closed and latched. Doesn't, uh, lights on, all lights are on, time's noted, brakes release. Um, time is about 2.44. Abort plan ready. Holmes County traffic, Cherokee 6328 Juliet, Spartan Runway 89, or Holmes County. Alright, so final still looks clear. Runway's clear. Take off power 
radar is set, airspeed's uh, coming alive, all pressure's good. There's 60, there comes 70, 75, roll rotate. Alright guys, welcome out here to Lake Erie. Uh, we're out here just uh, southeast of Sandusky, and my plan right now is to kind of follow the shore. Four Romeo, entering the 45 downwind for left-hand traffic on 15. We're going to follow the shoreline uh, up past Peter Point. Do a touch and go at Erie Ottawa International Airport, a uh, fancy name for a little uh, pilot controlled airport uh, by Sandusky. I kind of enjoy doing this and I used to do this flight quite a bit in the evenings. Uh, I haven't been as much since I'm working on my instrument rating, but it built my cross country time and it gave me uh, good... Uh... Alright, we got traffic. So we're going to move away a little bit. Traffic traffic coming up to 1-3, Gulf Echo is clear runway 3 at the next day. Alright, we're going to lost him. 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 It looks like they turned the other way now. And we also have traffic almost above us at 2,500 feet above us. I'm guessing they're high far because that being the clouds. They're no factor. That guy's still buzzing around out over Lake Erie. We'll have to keep an eye on it. It's really busy. Uh, out. Looks like he's circling out there again, so we're really going to have to watch for him. As I was saying, I built my time up, uh, gave me cross country hours, so I really enjoyed uh, doing that one. Oh, well, looks like we can see him. Probably not going to be able to see it, but. Uh, Good news for them is they look a little bit busier, so that's good. Traffic, 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 Guy in traffic, Cessna 7402 entering left downwind 23 Galleon. Guy in traffic, Cessna 6639 is on the downwind, right traffic, runway 7, Marion, 6 opening one second. Cessna 5102, left base 22 Arden. feet below us might be landing in the city somewhere that's really cool I don't know if you guys can see Cedar Point yet yep there he is looks like there's a hospital there it's possible he's landing in the hospital that's really really cool 
356, two miles south of the field, over flying to the west. We also got an airplane 300 feet below us, off to our right side. Marion. We're going to want to make sure that he sees us and we see him. I don't know if it's possible for me to see him, but... All right, so I'm going to give you guys a quick view of Cedar Point from above. There it is. As you see, they've got a few more uh, rides going than they have before. Radio, Mirage number 1065, is taking the active nine. On the final, 07 Marion. What was that other traffic that just called for Port Clinton? Mirage November 1065 Delta is just off Port Clinton. We'll be departing the area to the north, staying local. All right, I'll be looking for you too, Juliet. All right, traffic. Foot bay traffic helicopter. All right, so we've got traffic everywhere here, so it's crucial that we keep a very close eye out. We've got a Mirage uh, taking off, going to the north. I also had a, plan, a plane that just passed me, literally just below me, so, uh, yeah, it's interesting. We're about a 1600 I'm going to stay out of the pattern and do a standard 45 into the downwind for Niner, just to be on the safe side. We want to enter this pattern well, because we do have other traffic around. I'm keeping an eye for traffic also on my uh, tablet. Area Ottawa traffic, Cherokee 2A Juliet's entering a left downwind at a 45 for runway 9 or Area Ottawa. All right. Runway no traffic, Cessna 919 or left phase 23 Atlanta way. So we've got another um, target on our altitude on the other side of Area Ottawa. I've got the site, not sure what they're doing. So we're just going to keep a real close eye on them. Two thousand feet left. Area Ottawa traffic, Cherokee to eight it's on the go, runway nine or departing to the east area. up on uh, 10 miles uh, from Holmes County. I already got their ATIS winds calm, so we can have our choice of runway. I'll probably just uh, do a runway niner. Same as we took off, it looked like the wind favored that when we came in, but we'll see.
Holmes County traffic, Cherokee 28 Juliet, centering the down one at uh, 45 for runway 9, or Holmes County. All right, so as you can see, I'm uh, getting this turn around, and then I like to get it at about a 45 degree angle to enter my downwind. Really nice right there, so I'm going to start uh, turn my downwind. Perfect, looking nice. Holmes County traffic, Cherokee to Gillette, starting final, runway 9 or Holmes County. All right, guys, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed that kind of lazy Saturday afternoon, just going and uh, flying around, going up to the lake and kind of buzzing around for a little bit. So if you did enjoy the video, please be sure to smash that like button for me. That really helps out my channel as well as subscribing to my channel and ringing the bell right beside that. You'll get notified every time I upload new videos. Um, if you want to, drop a comment down below. I read all the comments and I try to respond to them and I really appreciate all of those comments. That also helps out my channel. So it's kind of a win-win for everybody. Um, I think that's about all I have for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. See you later.